What's going on YouTube? So today we take a look at Team Affinity and the best way, fastest ways possible that you guys can eat Team Affinity Chapter 3. Let's go ahead and get right into today's video. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn notifications on so you guys get notified when every video goes. As you can see, Wiz, it comes to progress on this. I'm at 79 and 80 in the E, 60 and 64 in the Central, and then 80 and 78 in the west so i'm not completely done yet but i'm going to tell you my route for this just so you guys know uh do i have the fastest route probably not but i think this is like the best way like without like being bored out of your mind to do it the first thing i did was the extreme showdown it gives you twenty thousand. that's right twenty thousand point uh for the team affinity and 20 and it's twenty thousand division so you'll get twenty thousand for the both of the east divisions both the central divisions and both the west divisions if you guys can do the extreme showdown next are going to be the extreme moments each moment has well each division has its own extreme moment also worth ten thousand xp whether it's hit two home runs pitch nine innings and don't allow a run almost a perfect game uh those are the type of moments that you're going to get you're going to get get four hits one of them being a home run get 10 total bases with jeff bagwell on hall of fame yeah those are kind of tough but i'm just saying those are two things that i did um higher skill players these are going to be a little bit easier with the showdown and the moment next thing i did was the exchanges i only did the 300,000 exchange this is going to get you 30,000 x you need 60,000 for the first boss so if we look back we got 20,000 from the showdown 10,000 from the moment that's 30,000 and then the exchange is going to be 30,000 that's going to give us our first boss for each division already and why is that important well there are boss missions so you need so you unlock a boss you need either 10 total bases with a hitter or you need five strikeouts with the pitcher and you get another 10,000 xp it's not repeatable but at least you get that additional 10,000 xp fairly easy once you get that first boss you go from 60,000 the 70,000, but then also with the AL East bosses, and that's any boss in season one. So chapter chapter one and chapter two bosses count for this, but you get 1500 PXP with AL East bosses and you get another 5,000. And then if you get um, PXP with any AL East players, 2,500 PXP, you get another 7,500. So that's pretty good right there. There's also single player missions, but they separated single player missions for mini seasons, conquest and play versus CPU. If I was going to do any of these single player missions, I would do conquest or mini seasons. Conquest, you get three saves, you get 5,000 XP. And if you get 20 hit, once you get 20 hits, you get 2,500 XP. Both of those are repeat repeatable. In many seasons, you get two saves, you get 5,000 XP. So I like this one a lot. It's only two saves instead of three saves. And if you get 15 hits, you get 2,500. Problem with the play versus CPU, they want 30 strikeouts for only 5,000 TA points. That's not even possible in a nine inning game. So that's gonna take a while to get that. And they also want 30 hits for only 2,500 XP. So that's why I don't like play versus CPU this time around. I'd rather do conquest or mini seasons if you're playing it against the CPU. Those missions are much faster and you're going to do them a lot quicker. But what I really like is the multiplayer missions. Innings pitched with um, division players. I'm not going to say like AL East because each division is going to be each division, right? So innings pitched with season one players, innings pitched with season one players and ranked co-op. Yes, you can play eight innings of ranked co-op. Every in eight innings pitched and ranked co-op with a pitcher will give you guys 9,000 xp towards team affinity so that's really good um runs every 10 runs gives you 5000 xp every 15 extra base hits gives you 5000 xp and every 10 strikeouts gives you 10,000. So if you guys play in higher difficulties like hall of fame or legend i think strikeouts are a lot easier to get and that's what where you're going to find the most success when it comes to strikeouts and 10 strikeouts is not a lot and 10,000 xp that's kind of a lot that's a thousand xp for each strikeout basically so i really like those missions as well so those are what i would do also when you guys play mini seasons you will get vouchers so you can use those vouchers to exchange those vouchers and get some xp that way as well three vouchers would be 9,000 xp every voucher is worth 10 Hey, uh, 3,000 X at the very least. And that's pretty much all I did. I did the ALE, the 300,000 exchange for 30,000 XP. I got my first boss and then I just been tackling multiplayer missions. And we'll go take a look at what I've been doing for multiplayer. That has been, I've been playing BR. So I like doing multiple things at once. We've had double XP this weekend. 
we have we've gotten a wheel spin this weekend like five times six times we're at 72 br points in the new br program already so as you guys can see i've done a lot of the missions in this as well and that's where i've gotten a lot of the xp as far as this program goes you get 6,000 XP right there for the uh, XP reward path. Another 6,000, another 6,000, another 6,000, another 6,000. You guys get the point. A lot of XP in the BR program. So if you guys want some wheel spins, I actually got some really good stuff in the wheel spins. You guys can see that on my TikTok. Really good, nice rewards. Uh, 90 plus live series, chase packs. I've gotten pretty much both of those. And then the other place that I like doing it is going to be events. And the reason I like events so much is because you could sell the event reward. So we already got 20 wins in the event. There's a bunch of XP in the event as well, guys. 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000. And then finally, once I hit 25 wins, I'll get another 10,000. But we got Matt Olson right here. You guys can see his price is almost 175K day one. I should have done the event day one. I did like six or seven games and I stopped. Should have finished the event day one and got the maximum amount of stubs for him. But still, even if you do the event at this moment, you can still sell him for around 58,000 stubs. So definitely, definitely worth it because he'll be in the next rewind pack and his price will drop. Similar to like Dante Bichette is only going for 23,000. So that's basically where he's going to probably land at uh, when the next event comes out in around two weeks. So definitely do the event, sell those rewards and grind Team Affinity while you're doing that in the multiplayer missions. And basically that's what I did. I did play versus CPU. When it comes to the boss missions, if you guys unlock a boss, so let's like let's say you unlock one of like the bosses in the AL East, and it's like Brian Roberts. You need ten total bases. So the fastest way to get to total bases uh, to complete that one mission is you're going to basically go to single player, play versus CPU. You're gonna pick the Colorado Rockies on rookie, and you're gonna play away. And you're going to make sure Brian Roberts is your first hitter. Go ahead, try hit that home run the first to bat, quit out, and just do it over and over and over again until you get your 10 total bases. It should only take you a couple tries if you're pretty good at the game or decent at the game, especially on rookie difficulty. And that's how you get that uh, 10,000 XP really, really fast without playing an entire game to do so. And with pitchers, you would do the same thing. You would hop into a game. You could do the home team. That way you pitch first. You need five strikeouts, so try a strike off the side in the first inning. You'll hit in the second inning. You could try to hit just to get some PXP for the heck of it. Or you could just bunt yourself, get out, and then go into the second inning, get two more strikeouts, and then quit out. That way you guys got your five strikeouts. You'll get your 10,000 XP. And you don't have to play an entire game to do so unless you absolutely want to for extra PXP at missions. But that's play versus CPU. And 30 strikeouts is too much. And then 30 hits too much because you can't even do that in a, in a nine inning game. Maybe 30 hits. 30 strikeouts you cannot. And it's not worth the 5,000 XP they give you for team affinity. So I wouldn't even bother doing that. And play versus CPU. I would hop into many seasons or just play some conquest maps. In fact, if you guys are going to play the conquest map, let me tell you what's in them. So the season one, chapter three, forgot exactly where, but somewhere over here where my face is at, I think there is a vault pack or a millionaire pack. So in this, in this right here, I think next to Kansas City, somewhere right here, I think there is going to be a vault pack or a millionaire pack. There's also, if you view your goals, I think it is, uh, oh, you get a vault pack or so it's a millionaire pack. So a millionaire pack on the map and you get a vault pack leading the team affinity chapter three conquest map definitely get that done complete this uh, team affinity conquest map to get that vault pack you never know what you might get vault packs are now diamond only so that's definitely huge um there was a mother's day conquest on here as well make sure you guys get this mother's day conquest done as well there's some millionaire packs in this uh, you never know what you get from millionaire you might get be the lucky lucky one to get the million stubs you get a millionaire pack for completing goal five you also get ten thousand stubs and three thousand x leading this so definitely worth it not that many games there's one two three four five six strongholds that you guys got to complete in order to do that so that's just a couple extra things to this video that you guys can do and unlock some good stubs and some as far as many seasons um i already had one started do your goals though but once you get to the playoff you'll get some vouchers uh, you'll get three vouchers for team affinity and if you win a championship you get an additional four vouchers so that's worth seven times three that's worth 21 thousand uh xp towards team affinity on top of that every four wins that you get 
you'll get an additional voucher. So that can definitely help you out, and especially towards the end of it. So I'm probably gonna finish this to help me finish Team Affinity as I've done a majority of it already. And I just enjoy doing most of it online and BR and events rather than just playing versus a CPU or playing mini seasons or just playing conquests all day long. I did the battle royale. I got some XP. I got some stubs. I did the event. I got the event reward, made some stubs, got some XP. And if you guys do not know, I am sitting at 1.3 million XP. So yes, I've gotten a lot of XP uh, this weekend with the new program and stuff, everything coming out because I've grinded the event. I've grinded BR and I've gained all that extra XP that is in those programs. That way I've been able to get these wheel spins and these wheel spins. If you get lucky, you can make a lot of stubs in them. So try to earn as many as possible before season two comes out. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did hit that like button, subscribe for new, turn notifications on and I will see you